What is one of the big mistakes that agents make when putting a property on the market? They use retail psychology and not property selling psychology. So when someone's looking to buy something in a supermarket, you don't see them go onto the web and look at all products up to £20. No, in fact, what will happen is they'll go into the supermarket and they'll go, oh, that's not quite 20 quid, I'll buy that. The same model doesn't work in a estate agency when you're putting your property on the market to sell. The reason being is that by doing that, you're shutting down the number of people that see your property. Let me give you an example. We've got a property on the market at the moment that we put at 400,000. The owner was recommended to price it at 399950 by another agent on the basis that psychologically it would be cheaper than 400,000. My justification was actually you shouldn't be doing that because you're shutting down the number of eyeballs that your property is going to be in front of. The reason being is that on portals or estate agents websites there's price brackets. So if you put your property on at 400,000, you're going to appear in two searches. You're going to maximize the number of people that see it. So you're gonna be showing yourself to people with a budget of 350, 370 in that under 400,000 price bracket, but you're also going to be getting in front of people who've got over 400,000 to spend. People that might think that house is a cracking deal at 400,000. I was looking to spend 420, 430. Now I've got an extra 20,000 pounds to do work to this property to make it into my dream home. Whereas if you only put your property on at 399950, you're only gonna appear in the bottom search. When you put your property on the market, make sure you've got round number pricing. That's going to maximize the eyeballs that your property gets, and it will hopefully put you in the band of pricing for people with higher budgets than you might initially have thought of. If you want any more tips, wait for the next video in my series. See you soon, bye.